Hey everyone, welcome back with a new lecture from Accredited Laboratory. In the previous lecture, I have defined method validation, which is the process of defining analytical requirement and confirmation of suitability of the method to analyze target analytes and get accurate and reliable results. Today's lecture will be around the difference between method validation and method verification. In method validation, you will evaluate the performance of the method by evaluation of method performance parameters. And method validation will be applied for non-standard or lab developed or in-house method. And this method, the method that will be developed inside the lab to analyze specific parameters. If you don't have reference method to analyze your parameters. Also method validation will be applied for standard methods used outside their intended scope. And that means if you have reference method to analyze your target analytes, in a specific matrix and you want to use this reference method to analyze your target analytes but in a completely different matrix in this case you will adapt this method to be able to extract your target analytes from your matrix and so you will make adaptation so you should develop this method and because of this you should make validation for this method also will be applied for modified standard methods if you have reference method to analyze your target analytes in your matrix and still you found that this method should be modified or adapted to be able to extract your target analytes and give you more accurate result. In this case, you will determine the effect of these changes and if you did major change, you should make full validation. So when a change is applied to the standard or reference method, in this case, the effect of these changes shall be determined. And if you did major change, so you should make full validation. But method verification for only standard or reference method. If you have reference method to analyze your target analytes in your matrix, in this case, the lab shall only confirm if they can properly operate this method to analyze these target analytes before introducing for test or calibration. So, if you have reference method to analyze target analytes in a specific matrix and you want to use this method, you should verify that you can apply the same performance parameters found in the method and you can get acceptance limit according to the reference method. But what if you did minor change to the reference method? In this case, you don't need to make full validation, you just need to make verification because the reference method is a method which already validated by a group of laboratories, a group of laboratories involved to carry out the validation to be published as a standard or reference method. So it's already validated and you just need to evaluate some performance parameters that I will mention after that, inshallah. So you just need to make verification. Also, what if you relocate the instrument you just need to make verification you just need to verify if you still can get the lowest concentration with accurate result or not so you can make replicate of sample spiked with uh, the lowest concentration required with your quantitation limit and if you still can get the accurate result that's it what if quality control results indicated inaccurate result in the beginning you should make corrective action and to find what was the problem at the beginning you can make repeat the analysis you can repeat the analysis another time if you still find the same problem in recovery or control chart so you will find out what is the problem or what is the error affected on your results but if you cannot find and you still have uh, unaccurate results, unaccurate result in recovery or in control chart. So you should go back to the development stage to adapt the method to be able to, to get accurate results, to have a rugged method. In this case, you will determine the effect of this change. If it's major change, you will make a new validation. But if it's minor change, you can make verification. Also, what if you change the call? You just change the call. You don't make, you need to make verification or validation. You just need to make new calibration to the instrument. And you can make verification by 
by uh, standard used from another from another company or from the same company if you don't have and if you want you can make spike sample to check the recovery but you just need to make new calibration and verification also what if you did full validation for your method using a specific instrument and then you buy another instrument from the same brand in this case you just need to verify that you can get accurate and reliable results using this instrument the new instrument and you can analyze the lowest concentration required LOQ quantitation limit and also the higher concentration the lowest concentration to ensure the sensitivity of the instrument and still you can get accurate result for the lowest concentration required quantitation limit and this is very important and also you can make replicate of sample spiked with the higher concentration to ensure the saturation point of the instrument that the instrument still can get the higher concentration required also but if the instrument from another brand if, if the instrument from another brand but still as example if your instrument is LCMSMS triple quad and you buy another LCMS SMS triple quad but from another company the same everything same so you just need to make verification you don't need to make another full validation and here are the method performance parameters that you should evaluate in case of validation or verification validation for quantitative or qualitative method and also verification for both of these methods actually methods divided into quantitative method qualitative method and semi-quantitative method quantitative method to analyze your target analytes and get the concentration of this target analyte exactly using calibration curve to determine the amount of target analytes using calibration curve qualitative method you just need to detect the presence or absence of your target analyte you don't need to calculate or quantify the amount of target analyte semi-quantitative method you will quantify only the percentage of this target analyte in the matrix as example detection of pork in meat you just need to detect or know the percentage of pork added to this meat here in case of validation for quantitative or qualitative method for quantitative method you will you or you should evaluate all method performance parameters such as limit of detection, limit of quantitation, sensitivity, selectivity, working range, linearity, trueness, bias, and precision, repeatability, and reproducibility, ruggedness, and also measurement uncertainty. All of these performance parameters will be explained in details in the next lectures in this training course, inshallah. And for qualitative method, you don't need to evaluate quantitation limit. This is only you, you just need to detect the presence or absence you don't need to quantify something also uh, working range linearity you don't need to do uh, measurement uncertainty it's not very important to do for verification in case of verification divide also for quantitative method for quantitative method in case of verification you will do most you will evaluate most of these performance parameters except sensitivity you will not you don't need because the reference method verification will be for reference method reference method a group of laboratories validate this method to be published yani involve it to validate this method to be published as a standard or reference method so you don't need to validate this method again this method already validated you don't need to ensure the selectivity of this method to, to get your target online because they already studied this parameter sensitivity and ruggedness you don't need to ensure the ruggedness of this method it's already rugged method already validated and it's already they already decided that this method is rugged to analyze these target analytes but better to follow the same performance parameters mentioned or studied in the reference method and do the same and if you get the same results or closed results to the reference method within the acceptable limits in this case your method is verified for qualitative method you don't need to make LOQ evaluate LOQ sensitivity selectivity ruggedness linearity or measurement uncertainty another very important point in this lecture selection of methods how to select the method which is fit for your purpose fit to analyze your target analytes in the specified matrix 
First of all, you should find reference method. You will try to find reference method to analyze your target analytes in the specified metrics. But if you didn't find reference method in this case, you will search for publication to find out what the researchers did before you to analyze you these target analytes in the specified metrics. And then you will try to adapt these methods to be fit for your purpose to be able to extract these target analytes from, from your metrics inside your lab. And after you will do this development, you will make full validation. So for reference method, you will do verification, but then for developed method inside the lab, you will do full validation. And after you will make validation for this method, because that's very important, then you will make quality control samples every day with every sequence. As I said before, if you have any problem with this quality control results in recovery or in control chart, you will repeat the analysis again and you will find out what was the problem. If still the problem is there for longer time and you still have the same problem with quality control results, it gave you an accurate result. In this case, you should go back to the development stage to find out or you ad to adapt this method again to be rugged method or to be fit for your purpose and to give you always accurate result. So after method selection, after you select the method, there will be development stage and that will be in the next lecture, inshallah. Thank you and see you in the next lecture.